Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So, I am a little stressed today, having some mental health. You know, it happens. And uh, one of the things I like to do is relax in the bathtub. So, I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about the Dr. Till's Melatonin Sleep Soak. So, if you'd like to hear more about this, because obviously it's not a first impressions, um, pros and cons, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can even bookmark the page. Um, as you've heard, you can become a member. You got some perks, videos two days early, stickers, uh, special emojis, stuff like that. You can hit the join button. It's $4.99 a month if you want to. If you don't, nothing changes. Still daily uploads, still chat with me, all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Okay, so I bought this a little before Christmas, and I've used this a handful of times. I've got, you know, about half a bag left. But this is their Pure Epsom Salt Melatonin Sleep Soak with Essential Oil Blend. And it helps to ease aches and soreness from muscle pains and promotes a better night's sleep. Okay, so, yeah, I have some thoughts. I don't know if, like, melatonin can absorb through the skin. I have the matching Dr. Till's like melatonin hand cream. I like it, it smells good. I even have a melatonin lip sleeping mask, but I don't know if it can actually absorb through the skin. Let's Google it, here are the results. Anyway, um, I do have to say, I do like this. It does have a nice scent. You get three pounds, but it has melatonin, lavender, and chamomile, all that kind of stuff. It is cruelty free. And I do like that if you get the big bags, it kind of has like a zipper, so you can like reclose it. It's dye free, so they're not purple, it's just a white, clear Epsom salt. So, okay, so here are the cons, and I have experienced this. If you have sensitive skin, don't use this stuff. It can irritate sensitive skin areas. Um, I had it the first time. The thing with this stuff is you don't want to use very much. So that's better because, you know, if you are sensitive to essential oils, which some people are, um, also it will help the bag to last longer. So it can cause irritation in your downstairs area. Um, so obviously if you get yeast infections, UTIs, if you're just extremely sensitive, don't use this. When I was looking to buy this, I read reviews, and there was some reviews saying, oh, it caused irritation. So just be aware. But anyway, let's go ahead. I'm gonna, let's get in the tub, all that kind of stuff. And um, I'll give you my final thoughts on the melatonin sleep soak from Dr. Tails. Okay, so as you can see, even though the melatonin bath soak didn't have any color to it, it does kind of leave your tub water looking a little milky. So it's not like those Dead Sea bath salts from Ahava that I tried from Dollar Tree. This is going to change the water, like color, clarity, whatever, slightly, just FYI. Okay, so I've been soaking for about 20 minutes with the Dr. Till's um, Melatonin Sleep Soak. Um, no irritation. I just want to say on the back, um, it does say to pour at least two cups of the Melatonin Sleep Soak under warm water. Uh, yeah, I think that's a lot um, for something that does have, um, that does have quite a bit of essential oils in it. So yeah, I would just personally, yeah, because um, the first ingredient is Epsom salts. The second ingredient is perfume. And then, then there is chamomile extract, there's lavender oil, and then patchouli oils. And then the last ingredient is melatonin. So second, third, fourth, fifth, you know, most like 
a big chunk of it is fragrance and essential oils. So I think that's where a lot of people are getting irritation. So I went in with probably about a cup, no irritation. Like I've been, you know, relaxing, laying back, no irritation. Nothing is feeling uncomfortable. The first time I did use it, because I did the two cups, definitely some irritation. So I do like this. I do think it smells good. Um, I think Epsom salts in general are nice. Um, do I think there's anything like super special with the melatonin ones? No, but you know, if you have tried melatonin bath salts before, if you've tried melatonin like skincare products and you know that you like them, they work for you, then yeah, I would say that this is going to be a good thing to buy. Um, affordable and it, it is a really nice product. Do I like it more than their other bath salts? No, I don't. But I do like it. It is relaxing. It could be a lot of it like um, placebo effect. I can't think of the word. Placebo effect from melatonin being in the name, last ingredient. Um, but soak it in a warm tub with some bubble bath or some bath salts. It can be pretty relaxing for a lot of people. So I like this. Um, I would recommend it for the people that know that they like melatonin products, like skincare products, you know what I mean? Um, I think if you have sensitive skin, I'm not even saying really sensitive skin, I'm just saying if you have sensitive skin, I would skip out on this. Um, I'm going to finish up the bag, I won't be repurchasing it, but it is nice. I know it kind of sounds like, you know, it is a nice product. Um, I would recommend it for those that you know they like melatonin skincare products, like I've said like four times now. Um, skip it if you are sensitive to essential oil, perfume, if you have sensitive skin, just skip this over and uh, get something else. But it's a nice product and I will definitely continue to use it. I will use it up and yeah, I, it's, it's a nice product. I will go ahead and link this down below. If it's an Amazon affiliate link, it's, or if it's an Amazon link, it's going to be an affiliate link. So just FYI. If it's not an uh, Amazon link, then it's just to help make shopping a little bit easier for you. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried the Dr. Till's Melatonin Sleep Soak. What did you think of it? Did you experience irritation? Did you like it? Let me know down below. And of course, you are welcome to follow me on my social media. Facebook and Instagram. It is at Budget Plan Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.